In this video, I'm going to tell you all you need to know about this Dr. Rachel. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lily. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on the notification post for you to get notified. And for my returning subscribers, thank you, thank you. Love you guys. So guys, in today's video, we'll be looking at Dr. Rachel Vitamin C Serum. This is the serum that I'm going to talk about today. We all know this serum, guys. In fact, most of us don't even like this serum because I've heard a lot of comments about this serum, that this serum has reacted to my face. This serum has caused a lot of pimples on my face this serum is this this serum is that you now there are people that if you bring dr rachel product they'll be like no 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 i don't like dr rachel product is this is this is this is the other one but in this video i'm going to tell you all you need to know about this dr rachel okay this is dr rachel vitamin c serum we all know this serum if you are battling with acne, pimples, please, this Dr. Rachel is not the answer. This Dr. Rachel is not the answer for your pimples and for your acne, okay? Because there is no how you can have pimple and you run to the market and go and get Dr. Rachel. If you, you can't be having pimple and you run to the market and go and get Dr. Rachel because many because okay many people are using it um because your friend is using it because you have seen people that are using it and you you, you yourself that has people and I can you run to the market and go and get Dr. Rachel please hold it Dr. Rachel is not meant for people it's not for people Dr. Rachel is for smoothing for wrinkle for discoloration for sun spots, for age spots, okay, for smoothening, for those that their face is already smooth. In fact, Dr. Richard Serum is for those people that doesn't know what to apply on their face. Maybe their face is dry and they're looking for what to rub. Instead of them buying face cream, they buy Dr. Rachel to help to smoothen their face. That is the essence of Dr. Rachel. Dr. Rachel is not mainly for pimple. If you have been, please don't go around to the market and start asking for Dr. Rachel products. If you have acne, please no, don't go and get Dr. Rachel products. Dr. Rachel, um, even the face cream is not even meant for people. For people that run to the market and go and buy Dr. Rachel face cream, Dr. Rachel uh, uh, serum, Dr. Rachel sunscreen, Dr. Rachel this, Dr. Rachel, and you have people. It's not for Dr. Rachel. Is not for pimple if you have pimple or acne if you're battling with pimple acne even um, black spots that are difficult to clear dr richard will not do the justice you get dr richard is simply for anti ages it's simple for wrinkles people that has fine lines on their face dr richard will help to smoothen your face dr richard will help to clear if you have old spots age spots it will help to clear Okay, Dr. Rachel does not have these properties like niacinamide that will help to clear pimple, all these properties that clears pimple. It doesn't have it. It's just to smoothen your face. It's just there in skincare product just to help you, just to glow your face. Okay, the reason for this vitamin C is just for a glowing sake, to help your skin to glow. That is it. You get so and again for most of, for some of us that their face is smooth because i have a friend of mine that her face is smooth her face is very smooth she doesn't have anything on her face and because she saw someone using dr rachel she runs to the market and gets dr rachel and from one week she started having acne the next week she started having pimples the other one her face starts getting rough and black spots everywhere the reason is this you don't know how to use dr rachel for people that have used it and they'll be like ah dr rachel is this dr rachel is that you don't know how to use dr rachel that's the simple truth dr rachel comes in between after you have your bed with your face soap or with your cleanser 
okay story shine is not something that you come and start using no if you want to use this serum like if you want to use this serum the first thing you need to do is after you wash your face or cleanse your face you first apply this and after applying this this is morning routine after applying this you can apply your moisturizer for some of us that having excess dry skin you can apply your moisturizer then after applying your moisturizer please get a nice sunscreen or some block get a nice sunscreen you cannot be using dr risha and you don't have a sunscreen why it will react on your face if you're using this dr risha you must have a sunscreen you must have a moisturizer you cannot come and say ah, i've used the torrential face cream and is this and it reacts to me most of my friends that if i want to recommend vitamin c dr torrential they'll be like no 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 i've used it is this is the it's because you don't know how to use it you use it with your sunscreen you use it with your sunscreen you use it with your moisturizer you get you must have a sunscreen you must have a moisturizer if you don't have money to buy moisturizer, buy a sunscreen. You cannot be using Dr. Risha and you don't have a sunscreen. No. It will react. You must have a sunscreen if you must use Dr. Risha. For some of us that have been like, I'm using, I've used Dr. Risha, I've used this, and it's reacted to me. So, so sorry. You didn't use it properly. That's why it reacted. Okay, so if you're using Dr. Richel, you first of all, after using your soap, you have a face soap. After using your soap or your body moisturizing soap, you can first apply this. Then after applying this, this Dr. Rachel, after applying it, then the next thing you do is to apply your moisturizer. After applying your moisturizer, during the day, you apply your sunscreen. At night, if you want to use it at night, after having your bed, you apply your Dr. Rachel. After applying your Dr. Rachel, you now apply your moisturizer. That's all. Then, if you have a face cream that you like, a facial cream, after applying this Dr. Rachel, you apply your facial cream, apply your moisturizer. Check it out. You will not have problem with Dr. Rachel. Stop saying that I've used Dr. Rachel and it's not good on me. No, it's because you have been using it you don't know how to use it and you use it wrongly that's why it reacted so that is how to use dr Rachel. so the next thing is this this dr Rachel, it repairs the skin it repairs the skin so i wonder why you would tell me that dr Rachel is not good on me dr Rachel, it's it's it reacted this dr Rachel, it repairs the skin so i don't know why you're telling me that dr Rachel reacted to me dr Rachel do this or do that it helps to it helps to repair the skin it helps to repair this if you have discoloration if you have um sunspots as well it helps to clear if you have fine lines if you have wrinkles it helps to clear it helps to reduce it okay so this helps to repair the skin so if you don't know how to use this serum please don't go and buy it if you don't have money to buy the necessity the things that you need to buy please don't go and buy it just buy your moisturizer and your facials and your and your normal moisturizing soap that's all you get so it also brightens the skin it also fames the skin it also brightens the skin okay for some of you i don't know why some are saying that it make me dark you do this to me it, this as you if you see now this is the one I'm using this currently and it's nice on me like see it here it's not full it's half it's half have you seen it it's not full it's half this I'm using it to show that I'm using it so I use it correctly on my face and on my neck so it's very nice okay it brightens as well it firms the skin the active ingredient of this dr rachel is that it contains hydronic acid it also helps to clear the sunspot which also helps to brighten your skin which also helps to repair your skin okay then it also contains antioxidants this antioxidant is very nice in this serum Okay. This serum is very nice. The main reason that I'm doing this video of this Dr. Rachel is this. Many people do 
go to the market to buy it for pimple or for acne it does not clear pimple it will not clear your pimple it will, if you use it when you're having pimple it will bust your pimple out it will make you to have pimples more if you have acne and you go to market and buy it it will make your acne worse so it does not help in pimples so don't go and go to the market and rush and get vitamin C, vitamin Dr. Rachel when you have pimple and start asking me whether it does it clear pimple or start telling me that you use this and it brings out and it, it bursts out of pimple. It will bust out of pimple because Dr. Rachel it, it does not help to clear pimple. Dr. Rachel is just to smoothen your face. It doesn't have niacinamide and other content that clears um pimples. Okay, so this 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 vitamin C. Is just to smoothen your skin and this vitamin C is for those that has dry skin I don't know why you that has oily skin going to the market and buying vitamin C and applying it alone if you have dry skin you can use it and it's nice it's very okay but if you have an oily skin you can just buy this only this and use it because it does not even contain acne control it does not contain oil control okay so you you need other things you need other skincare products that will help you if you are using this as an oily skin you need other skincare products that will help you okay so i don't know why people that has oily skin will go and get this vitamin c and use only it and they will come back and say that this vitamin c is not okay it's not good it's just it it's reacted to their face it's because you don't know how to use it and if it's your skin care if it's if it's for your skin okay so these are the things you need to ask yourself another purpose of this dr rachel is that it brightens the face and it's for anti-aging it's for anti-aging that's another major reason for this product for anti-aging it makes your face look younger it makes you look younger okay it makes your face look smoother for those people that start having wrinkles and fine lines it makes your face look younger a little bit younger so if you are looking for something that will make your face younger you can get this use it the way i have stated earlier okay that is it for dr rachel you all know and you all have learned that dr rachel is not for acne it's not for people so not that don't just go and get dr rachel to clear your pimple no and if you have a oily skin don't just go and get only dr rachel for your face no so that's all i have for today see you guys in my next video and i hope you guys enjoyed it See you guys and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please subscribe to my youtube channel turn on the notification post for you to get notified and for my returning subscribers thank you bye